One of the greatest things that you could do for somebody else is to tell that person what Jesus means to you and what Jesus has done for you, how, how he has saved you and changed your life. If you're a Christian, one of the greatest things that we could ever do for somebody else is tell them what Jesus means to us and what he has done for us. In other words, be that voice, be that testimony, be that witness. Now that takes courage. That takes courage and it's okay if you feel fear. It doesn't make you a bad person to be afraid, but understand God can help you to overcome that fear and you can do something that is truly great. You could tell somebody else what Jesus has done for you, what he means to you. You know, the Lord said that we are to be witnesses. We are witnesses. He said in Luke 24, 48, and ye are witnesses of these things. Ye are witnesses. He didn't just say you're, you're, you are to witness, like a verb, you know, action. He said, you are a witness. You are, we are witnesses. Now, you know, we are witnesses. For, just for example, if you came up on a terrible car accident, and the police, you know, were making out their reports. If you didn't see it, if you were not there, they would not ask you about the details because you could not be a witness. But if you were there and saw it when it happened, then they could take your statement down because you would be a witness. Well, the same is true here. Do you know that Jesus Christ has saved you from your sins? Has Jesus Christ made the difference in you. See, you are a witness if you know the Lord is your savior. And so why don't we talk just for a moment today about how you could share what Jesus means to you, what he's done for you. How could you share that with your friend? You're sitting at, you know, your lunch hour break at the job, you know, you're sitting there on the lunch break and you're talking with your coworker, you're talking with your friend and you want to tell that person what the Lord has done for you. Well, here's a few ideas for you on how you can be a witness. I would say, first of all, this, tell that person what your life was like before you met Jesus. What was your life like before the Son of God saved you? Now, I don't mean that you have to go into, you know, sordid details. If, uh, you know, things of your life you'd rather not speak about, I don't mean you have to drag all that up. I do mean, however, that if, you know, the hopelessness being, you know, the guilt of your sin and shame, if you were like me, you had religion, you went to church, but you didn't know the Lord, you know, people need to know that because there's a lot of people that identify. If you're like me before I met Jesus, I, I was scared I was going to hell. But you know something? There's a lot of people out there that are just like I was. And so people need to know, what was your life like before Jesus? Well, then the second thing is, tell that person how you came to know Jesus, how you met Jesus. Now, for some people, that might have been sitting in a church service on a Sunday morning or a Sunday night or whenever. For other people, it might be a mama or a daddy or a grandma or grandpa that talked to them about Jesus one Saturday afternoon or something. My sweet wife, she was a seven-year-old girl when she got saved and she was saved in her home on a Saturday night as her mom and her dad talked to her about Jesus. And she did what the Bible said. She believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and called on him to be her savior. See, it might be different places and circumstances for everybody, but at the end of the day, same thing. The grace of God. Jesus died for my sins. He was buried and rose from the dead. And now I know him. I believed on him. Let me tell you how I came to believe in Jesus. And then thirdly, tell that person, what is your life like now that you become a Christian, now that you are saved? I mean, really, we didn't do anything. Jesus did it all. He saved us. He brought us to faith in himself. And we can tell about all that. Now tell, what has he done in your life since then, since you've been saved? What has Jesus done in your life? You know, what's, what about the joy, the peace, the love? How about the joy of knowing my sins are forgiven? He's changed my life. Some people might could talk about how that they were drunks, but Jesus took that away from them and delivered them. You know, there's 
all types of things and the Lord working in lives. And people need to hear that because you see you and I, we are witnesses. Thank you for being with me. God bless you. Have a great day.